we have just one design from one of the group members so it's possible today's design review is going to be short i'm going to repeat what i told you guys um in um, some of my previous video that any client who's going to call you for design project would love to see if you've solved your own design um goals you know we're in the world where people are not ready to waste their time or money on someone who is not capable of providing what will you know put money in their pockets because we are the one that create the image of most brand like we are the one that designed their picture all right because designs that we do for clients tell people who they are so if they notice that we can't even you know create a good picture of ourselves uh, they'll look at it like okay so if this guy can't or if this person can't create a good picture for himself there's no way he'll be able to create a good picture for us and this will make them find it difficult to um, contact us because nobody's ready to waste time and money on what is not going to um you know add value to to him or her and the same principle goes with you and i you know i'm sure none of us here would like to drop money or pay someone who is not going to um you know create what will add value to us i'm sure we won't do that the way you present yourself is how people will see you this design is not really up to what i think any organization will want you to come or come work with them i'm going to start with the title which is the focal point that says the first impression your logo and design gives gives is an important aspect in your business so this information here is uh, is out of it so when you say the first impression what's the first impression of what all right i expect you to at least complete this all right and then the way you put the um rider here is not um okay you even started with oh 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 okay so i think what you're trying to do is you're trying to say the, this is a complete um sentence because i noticed your your here is not cap all right uh no you don't do this so next time what you do is always work on making use of short sentence as your focal point all right don't always make your focal point that's your caption too long making it too long will affect your layout so you need to work on that in fact avoid that and that's why you see most of um uh, most of uh, let me use banks you realize that if they want to sell any new service they always have a short title for it all right so the goal of that short title is to draw people's attention to read the other information on the um, artwork all right so please avoid um avoid making your focal point too um long and then another thing again i like here is this contrast here of this guy walking alone all right but the issue i have is that the guy walking alone did not really connect with the message well because if i'm going to define the scene on this um background i'll count it as this guy is lost because if you look at this side of the project there's nothing there so it shows that this guy is lost so what you're trying to say here is that you're trying to let your target or the, your target um, brand believe that if they ask you to come work with them you are going to create something that will make them get lost so you need to be very careful with the way you use illustration and your design you don't just use the illustration because you don't want the page to look empty no don't do that there must be a reason in fact the message on your illustration should connect with the information on your design and illustration is one very powerful tool that we use as designers to draw attention to the information on our design when the illustration is not passing the right message the goal and the focus of the project would get lost so you need to be very careful with the way uh, you play with illustration 
so i have here that your brand need a unique brand identity that allows it to stand out in your niche so for me i would have love love it if this is your focal point all right in fact um if i'm going to make this my focal point then i may have to rephrase it so rephrasing it will be so what i'll just do is i'm going to cut out this this is going to be my focal point all right this is going to be my caption stand out in your niche so this should take the space of this and then this will now this will now come as a rider all right so we have stand out in your niche your brand need a unique brand identity so i have stand out in your niche then i'll now have your brand need a unique brand identity then I'll not get an image that show stand out. There are so many images you can use that can depict stand out. I wish I can share them with you now, but I notice now that sharing, um, uh, you know, illustrations with you is not part of how I am helping you because if I help you with it now, and the client now asks, maybe you can you now come up with a good design and then the client now say okay so we saw your promotional design and we like it and then we want you to be to work at to you know to work with us am i still going to be the same person that will help you with getting the right illustration for the clients when you start working for them no so my job is not to give you ideas on the uh, type of illustration to use but i only give you tips on you know that would help you with the right illustration to use in fact i believe that some of you already you already get the type of illustration that will work with stand out in your niche i'm sure if i open the mic for you guys and i'm sure you guys will start calling different images that will work well with the standing out so when you use an image that stand out among the oh excuse all right so i believe you get the idea <laughs> all right so images like that would you know would have helped with uh what would draw attention to this and then you know it will make people know that yes you actually know what you are doing but the type of image you will now use should now be should not be something that will look thick all right so the elements that's the subject that you are making to stand out among the other elements on the image should not be something that people will look at it like are you trying to say i'm um, this um dirty stuff so you need to be very careful I hope i believe you get the idea all right so another thing again i notice here is the use of um scale um let me quickly draw out something for you here so you guys will get the message on how you need to play with scale see this is how you should play with laying elements in your design all right there should be something like this this is going to be the first thing that people see and that first thing is always your contrast no in fact that that contrast is very very important and then the next thing should now be it can be something not to be as not to it's not it's not composite as if i shouldn't be as big as this but something next to it so this will be at this to serve as the second thing that people see they will now have um the third all right then on the third we can you know we can now make the other information on the design have the same size with the third all right or you can still do one more no it shouldn't be as you can still do one more that shows maybe the fourth thing that people see but make sure that you don't have too many different um scales like too too many different sizes of elements on your design doing that will make your design boring and it, people will know you are not really you don't really understand um how to lay element in your design so don't forget the focal point which is always your contrast all right this is the number one and then the number two and then the number three and then you're gonna make this your number four doing this will make uh your project look interesting and then it will control the eye movement on your project correctly most designers don't always um get this part controlling the eye movement on your design is more it's not different from the way you are trying to allow space for your content to breathe all right so i understand okay yes 
you know that there's space i know so many of us always want to make sure that there's space on my project all right but don't forget that there's always something that is called movement also the movement that is also important as the space all right so i'm going to stop here on uh on this okay so please if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button okay and if you have any thing that you believe that um you can share with me on this um review please you can drop a message in the um message uh, box and i'll see you in the next one peace